Hey YouTube, this video will be my top 10 favorites and all time recommendations collab. And this collab was started by Miss Nunu the Hair Diva and I'll be doing it with a few other awesome ladies here on YouTube. I'll put their channel descriptions in my, or their channel names in my description box. Um, so what we decided to do was just come and let you know what all of our favorites are. Things like um, makeup, maybe websites, anything like that that are our favorites and that we recommend for you to check out and I am going to hop right in and get started so what I decided to do was to show you my top 10 favorite brands I am not going to do it in any particular order um, I have some high-end and some drugstore as well and I'm not going to do this in any particular order I'm just going to jump right in and um, tell you what they are. And the first, my first favorite brand is NYX Cosmetics in particular because of their intense butter glosses of which I have one on today. The um, Toasted Marshmallow. These last for a very long time on the lips and they keep your lips nice and moisturized. Also the Soft Matte Lip Creams. This one here just happens to be in Copenhagen. Copenhagen is also one that I have in my kit and I used on a young lady who was going to prom yesterday and it looked really, really nice on her. So I have collected a lot of, especially the, um, and I'm looking down because I have them in my drawer, especially the intense butter glosses. I absolutely love them. The next brand that has become a favorite of mine is ColourPop and I know that that's a lot of people's favorites. It is very nice quality, very inexpensive and and this is going back to the makeup artist part of me too. A lot of clients actually love and know the name ColourPop so they ask for ColourPop when you do their makeup. Um, in particular I like well this is what got me started and this is just um this is the K-pop quad but what actually got me started was their, um, what do you call these things, Super Shock eyeshadows. And they are very pigmented. Um, the, the, what I want to say, consistency of them is a little bit weird and takes some getting used to. But I absolutely love them. They do stay on all day. That one is close to my skin tone, so you probably won't see it. Um, and if you just want to sort of just pop on a color and go, you can do that with these shadows. And they are only, what, five bucks a piece. So, absolutely love those. I have come to love, and I have one once again today, their blushes. So, I have the Super Shock Cheek today on my face in Cheerio. Very pigmented, so you have to be very careful with them. But I just take my finger and sort of dot it on and just blend it in and they last all day as well and i'm going to be trying to put my things back as i talk to you about them i have also picked up when they had their 20 percent off sale recently i picked up the um ultra satin lips love the formula of these ultra satin lips i got it in two lips i got it in mess around and i have it in it's a lavender color that's super light but it looks really good if you use it as like a highlight in the middle of the lip I forgot the name of it anyway I don't I am not a fan of their ultra matte lipsticks way too drying on my lips they make my lips feel like they want to crack but I love the formula of these moving on if you all saw the bunch of stuff that I have in front of me it's like ridiculous I couldn't narrow the products down to 10 so I wanted to narrow like just do 10 brands that I love and show you a couple of things from the collections that I liked so the next one I am going to show you is Too Faced and who does not who does not love Too Faced they are really really cranking out a lot of good stuff here lately um 
my original and most favorite product from them is the chocolate bar palette and this is the original chocolate bar palette that thick one um, I also have this as well in my kit and I do makeup I did makeup yesterday and this is what I used um, and it's the thinner version of this but the chocolate bar palette definitely and then also the sweet peach palette which is here and I did a video on this recently doing a look with the sweet peach palette and I like the fact they gave you a couple more um, eyeshadows in this one instead of giving you those long eyeshadows on the end. So Too Faced is definitely a favorite. The next favorite, and I love this brand for the eyeshadows as well, is Kat Von D. And I just pulled out two of her, um, what do you call these? Um, I don't know, but you have your Monarch and you have your Chrysalis. This is the Monarch and this is the Chrysalis palette. And this is what they look like on the inside but I love the quality of Kat Von D and I should have pulled out the shade in light because that is one of my favorites from her as well this is the Monarch palette this is the Monarch palette I think the Chrysalis palette is actually sold out and you cannot get it anymore the next um, company that is one of my faves and not necessarily for one thing in particular i have picked up a lot of stuff from this company for my kit as well as for myself and that is bh cosmetics i have like three things here that i picked up from them um i like these little palettes here and they have them in um eyeshadows and then this is the highlight palette this is the wild and radiant and they have like three um like baked eyeshadow palettes as well I feel like my husband is cutting the grass like now of all times. But um, this is what this looks like. These colors are super pigmented. I don't know what the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Palettes are like. But I'm just saying. This one costs me maybe $8.50 I think. So this is really nice. Um, they just came out. I have these 10 color blush palettes from them. And I think the Glamorous palette, and I think they have a professional one. Those are in my kit. I bought another one of this one, which is the Nude for my kit as well as one for myself. So this and it is in the, the new um, packaging, and it looks like this on the inside. These are what the shadows look like. So if you want to do like a smoky eye on somebody and you don't want the rest of the face to be super bold, you can use these. The shadows are super pigmented and really pretty. That is so close to my skin tone that you can't see it. Let's see if I can put one on here that you can see. There you go. It's showing up lighter on camera than it is in person. It is a nice peachy melon peachy I don't know color in person very pigmented colors um, BH Cosmetics is always having a sale the prices to begin with are not that bad but then they are always having a sale on top of that and the last thing I want to show and this is especially for makeup artists and I'm sorry if I'm sort of harping on that but I mean it's good for you to have on your own but if you are a makeup artist especially if you are just starting out these are good for you as well and this is the 28 color nude lipstick palette which I just picked up I had another one of their lipstick palettes that I did like a swatch on and I swatched all 28 colors that video I will link but this is the new nude and this is for my kit as well so I haven't touched it yet because I haven't used it on a client but this is what it looks like and this is a good thing to have also if you want to do a smoky eye or if you have a client like I had on Friday who just wants to look nice and natural this is a great palette to use so that is my next favorite brand BH Cosmetics I'm going to move on to a higher end brand now so the next and I'm trying to move things out of my way as I talk about them 
the next absolute favorite this one is like in the top two absolute favorite um brand is it cosmetics i'm trying to see yeah i have actually three items to show you one of them that i am super obsessed about um i did a video about it and i have been using it a lot this is probably dried out i need to open another now it is the superhero mascara i did a well, it's still pretty good i recommend probably time to throw it out because i've had it for long enough um a video about showing you how it lengthened my lashes and um, showing you the wand and everything very nice formula so i love the superhero mascara um also they have a few palettes that i like which are the celebration found the celebration eyeshadow palettes my favorite of all of them is the celebration what am i saying naturally pretty palettes is what i'm trying to say but my favorite is the celebration this one came on i think two christmases ago and it may or may not still be available on their website all of the shades in the palette are matte except this one transforming shade if you want to give your shadow a little bit of shimmer all of them have like skin loving anti-aging ingredients in them and um, another thing I want to show you is a palette and it is the it's your beauty award-winning must-haves palette so it includes a lot of the things that I like all in one packaging with it cosmetics so the Bye Bye Pores Blush here is a favorite. The Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder is a favorite. Um, the bronzer I use as a setting powder. And then they also have the Bye Bye Pores, I mean the Hello Light Cream. That's the only cream in this palette is the Hello Light Cream Illuminator, which I have in a single also, which I am using. But um, this is it. And the reason why It Cosmetics is probably one of my top two favorites is because they put so many good ingredients in their products. Anti-aging, they sort of calm the skin, and they don't make you break out whatsoever. They work with dermatologists to come up with all of these products to help with the skin. So that's why, um, actually I put it in like my top two. Um, and I just dropped it on the floor. My next um favorite brand is um Tarte and of course you all knew that I was going to say that I will, this is definitely in the top five probably number three it's Tarte and specifically for everything pretty much um I like the Hello Lashes mascara I definitely love the foundations like I have two here my absolute favorite foundation from them I don't even know why I didn't pull that out my absolute favorite foundation from Tarte is the um, Amazonian clay 12 hour foundation and I have that in deep I also have it in a darker color than deep which that's in my kit the Maracuja Miracle foundation I have um, actually this is not a foundation this is called a found sealer so it's like a foundation and a sealer and concealer in one and I use that on my face today and just topped it with um, the mineralized skin finish and also a new favorite I did a video on this as well the rainforest of the sea water foundation super light and it lasts all day um, does not cause any irritation to my skin um, I am of course in love with their palettes especially the like the Christmas collection that they come up with are absolutely awesome and if you are like one who wants to try Tarte that's the best way to get into it because you get so much for your money with that but specifically the Tartlet in Bloom palette I love also love and everybody this is how we got into these tartlet palettes is the original tartlet all matte palette and then i picked up another little one from qvc and this is just an amazonian clay eyeshadow palette but it's a little smaller than the christmas palette so easy to travel with 
to me and I know there are like mixed reviews some people don't think that their shadows are pigmented they don't show up well they don't last long for me it is just like exactly the opposite they last all day they are nice and sort of creamy um, pigmented absolutely love them and I think like as they get more mature as a company the quality actually improves because I can remember some palettes from the beginning when I was getting tart with those big eyeshadows that the pigmentation really was not there but the shadows are getting better the next I don't know which one I'm on but trust me I counted it out and this is 10 <laughs> the next favorite brand that I have is Laura Geller and Laura Geller is a fave specifically for one item although she has other stuff that I really really like I absolutely love her spackle primers this is the bonus size of the ethereal primer so it kind of gives your skin a glow this one is the protective under makeup primer which I have this in my kit as well and it has SPF 30 in it and it also has a little bit of a glow to it like maybe it has like a pearl I don't know like it sort of looks like crushed pearls or something on your skin um, makeup lasts all day makeup goes on nice and evenly these are not they are I don't want to say not silicone but they feel more like lotiony than they do like the Smashbox definitely feels like a silicone primer these feel more lotiony to me than those do than the um, Smashbox primer so I absolutely love Laura Geller for her spackle under makeup primers the next brand is a drugstore brand one of my absolute faves and that is Milani specifically for two things even though they have a lot of other stuff that I like but my two absolute favorites from Milani are the color statement lipsticks and I just happen to pull out matte passion which is great for this time of year actually so matte passion color statement lipsticks period the regular ones and the matte ones and then they're baked blushes these are very 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 pigmented really nice comparable to high-end blushes last all day go on smoothly evenly if you never buy a high-end blush you are okay to just own Milani blushes absolutely love them now they do have these little powder blushes like this these scholar go in and out of stock so much I think they have a couple of colors that are permanent but for the most part these are like limited edition blushes I have I think all of them let's see I have like 11 of them I don't know if that's all of them but those are favorites too but these you can find them all the time you can get them at Walgreens you can go on Milani.Cosmetics.com you can get them from can you get them? I don't think you can get it from Ulta probably Drugstore.com um, CVS you can get them from anywhere um, the last thing that I'm going to show you is the reason why I love this one particular company they have a lot of other things that I like but what I keep coming back to over and over and over again and use every day are their brushes and these are the elf studio brushes I think they are studio I don't know, I think these are the, called the studio brushes but the, the black brushes from elf these are the ones that I really really like and elf has done a really good job of keeping up with the trends with all of these new shapes and things to the the makeup brushes like the um, contour brush everybody loves this little thin flat contour brush because it fits right there this is everybody's all-time favorite this one is in my kit as well the um, powder brush nobody uses this, this, this thing for powder they always use it for like liquid foundation or cream foundation this one is the ultimate blending brush so for blending in your foundation you can use I use it for liquid foundation as well um, this one does not have the name on it and I hate that they stop putting the names on their brushes but this is like the selfie powder brush I think 
And then they have a selfie foundation brush. This one is the fan brush and you can use it to put your highlight on. This one is the small tapered brush and you can use this one to get into corners. You can use it to set your um, concealer. You can use it to contour. You can use it for a lot of things. I have this one in my kit. I have this one in my kit. I also have in my kit and I don't have it. Oh, I have one right here. You can tell as I'm drying brushes. You can tell it's for my kit because I sort of wrote my um, initials on it. But the um, concealer, the flawless concealer brush, absolute favorite brush from Elf. I use it every single day. I think I have two for myself because I'm always using it and I want one to stay clean because once they get dirty, stuff starts streaking. So I like to keep those clean. But. I have no idea how long this video took, but that is my top 10 favorite brands and things that I recommend from each brand. Thank you, Nunu, for doing this collab, well, asking me to do this collab video. Thanks to the other ladies for doing this collab video with me. Thank you all so much for, have, for watching me. <laughs> Listen, I told you nine of my favorite products. My absolute favorite brand is actually sitting right here. It was off to the side, so I forgot about it. I do not know how I did that. But my absolute favorite brand is Mally Beauty. Um, I think what makes it my absolute favorite is that she is such a down-to-earth, humble, grateful person. I met her in person, and she is great. The attitude that you see on TV is the attitude that she has in real life. She is so grateful to all of her customers and her fans. And you can actually tell because it sort of comes from her. But um, absolute favorite brand is Mally Beauty. I have so much of Mally's products. It's ridiculous. One of my faves is her City Chicken the Buff palette. This is her original um, one of these sort of palettes. And I have like the other three as well. But this is the all neutral one. Um, absolute favorite and I think I have recommended from her is the Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. I think this is one that I just opened and it keep, it stays in my purse. The other one I had was like a travel size and I finally threw that one out. And this is the sponge, the sponge that comes with it. Favorite mascara of all times is her Volumizing Mascara. Although I am using her more as more mascara now and really like it. But I am waiting for it to come out individually. It was only in a um, set that I got as a TSV from QVC. So I'm waiting for that to come out individually. Her eyeshadow sticks are some of my favorites. Her lip glosses. I think you have seen in several... Um, makeup baskets of mine um she has like this blush highlight duo that i like she has the new um oh i can't think of the name of the lipsticks but they are super moisturizing only i don't like the packaging but i do like the lipsticks everything everything i love everything from her so that makes her like my absolute top favorite brand and I don't know how I forgot to put that in there but it's in here now and thank you all so much for watching bye